a burger and beer combination fit for a king. And this morning, you can have them both. I'm joined by David Stellman, executive chef for Old Detroit uh, Burger Bar, and Bobby Vetter from Power Distributing. Good morning, gentlemen. Thank you uh, to you both. And uh, chef, what are you making this morning? Tell us a little bit about this special burger. I'm making a Griffin Claw Blue Sky Cheddar uh, Jalapeno and Bacon Burger. Now, you had me at Griffin Claw. Mm -hmm. So obviously, you know, for folks around Metro Detroit, we know that's a beer. Uh, tell us a little bit why you decided to use Griffin Claw and what types of flavor that beer is going to impart into the burger. Well, there's nothing better than beer and cheese together, and you pair it with a burger, and it's a great thing. Uh, the Griffin Claw is, is a mild kind of beer with some good citrusy tones, mm -hmm. and it adds a lot of good flavor to the cheese. All right, now you already have a jump uh, on your, your process here. Where are you uh, right now? What do you have in the pan that you're stirring? This is a mixture of flour and butter, and it's a thickening agent for the body of the sauce, which is going to be uh, beer, chicken stock, and a little bit of cream. All right. After we thicken that up, we're going to add a little bit of cheese to it and the bacon and jalapenos. Wonderful. Now, you know something? It's Memorial Day. It's going to be in the 80s. Bobby, what makes a summer type beer? How does it distinguish from other types of beer? Well, summer beer is great. Uh, what we like about summer beers is, uh, to Chef's point earlier, we got some great citrus tones going on. We got grapefruit in the Traveler Shandy. We've got, obviously, lemon in the Line and Kugel's uh, Summer Shandy. And, you know, brewers are really breaking the mold now and getting really creative. This new North Peak uh, Mighty Melon, they use a, this great melon flavor. It tastes like liquid watermelon almost. Really? You know, it's incredible. And all these beers are gonna pair well with anything really you do uh, over the Memorial Day weekend. Break out the grill and, and get some good beers. Now some people are gonna say, well, you know, is this going, is the citrus going to work with the other items? Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's not too light, it's not too sweet. No, uh, sweetness uh, doesn't really play a factor in a lot of uh, summer beers. They want them light and refreshing, so you can have a couple and you know still have some fun. Um, but uh, you know, one of the most fun parts about it is uh, the experimentation. Try a couple of beers, get a variety 12 pack, or make your own six pack, and do some grilling up. Get creative. All right, and chef, so you're thickening up your. Uh your sauce now. Yes. Is this the, I, I've been standing here next to this yeah. uh, for a while. Is this the finished This product? is the finished sauce right here. Nice so, and thick and so it's, it's going to go on the burger and just ooze over the sides. So let's plate this. We have right. uh, about what, a minute or so left? Right. So you're plating and you have the traditional uh, toppings on the bottom there. You have your lettuce, tomato, onion. Right. All right, and you're putting that on, and it is nice and thick. Yeah. How long do you have to simmer it or reduce it to get it to that thickness? It takes about three or four minutes. It's not a long process. Very easy to do at home. And of course, you know, you can see the uh, the nice uh, topping there, you know, with the sort of, how do you do that? We brand our buns. Uh, we have a, a steel uh, brand made up, yeah. and we heat it over a fire and just stamp the buns, burn it right in. Branded buns, sounds like a party. <laughs> Unless I'm going to take a bite here of this, and because this is a large burger and I'm not going to make a huge mess like I have done in the past, and the chef provided me with a knife. <laughs> That's great. That's a wonderful burger. And I really love the, uh, the sea sauce. You said jalapenos in there? Yes. Mm -hmm. A little bit of kick. Well, thank you so much for, for joining us, chef. Thank you. I appreciate it. David. Thank you so much. We'll be right back with a check of news, weather, and traffic from this recipe on our website, wxyz.com and tv20detroit.com.